Well, this is just another in a long string of efforts that Sadiq Khan has been making to reverse many decisions that Boris Johnson made in his time as mayor. You'll remember another one of these was his decision to decry the garden bridge, which he said was a Boris Johnson pet project. Uh, now he's saying that the decision to shelf this AFC Wimbledon stadium is now on the books again. He's saying it might be returned to Merton Council, uh, which you'll remember from last year, uh, unanimously approved the AFC Wimbledon Stadium. Now it's going to comprise of a 20,000-seater stadium and 602 homes with uh, several flats and a large amount of space for people to walk around in a sort of village-style uh, development. Uh, Wandsworth Council, however, the originators of the main complaints are not happy about this. Wandsworth Council is only a stone's throw from where this stadium and indeed the settlement around it will be built. They say that the infrastructure surrounding it is not enough, that there's not GP services that can encompass that sort of living capacity, that there's not also schools and, of course, the potential blocking off of several roads, roads during game days for uh, St George Hospital, a major trauma centre for a lot of the southeast of the country, let alone the southwest of the capital. Uh, earlier on, I spoke to the leader of Merton Council, Stephen Alan Britis, for his opinion on the move. We're very pleased with uh, Sadiq Khan's uh, decision to unravel and go away from that awful decision by Boris Johnson to delay this planning application for a brand new stadium with actually 602 apartments, which is sorely needed here in this part of London. So it's a very good decision to have a 14-day consultation uh, to see whether uh, he needs to hand it back to Merton Council, which passed it unanimously, and the Office of Recommendation is stuck the same as before, i.e. to go ahead with this brilliant application for a home-based, fan-based, uh, trust-based football club. Now, it's whilst it may be a good thing for fans here uh, who want to celebrate AFC Wimbledon in, in what was their sort of spiritual home, uh, it's something that Wandsworth Council and other councils across uh, this part of the capital have decried. They say it's just not a good idea, there's not enough infrastructure. What would you say to that? I would say to Wandsworth Council they've had plenty of opportunity uh, to consult, to be consulted. All their views have been taken into account. And uh, they need to be mindful that the planning authorities, Merton Council, not them, the planning authority unanimously passed this application and it will renovate the whole area, including their side of uh, uh, Plough Lane. So I would urge them to continue to consult. They can feed in their views in these next 14 days uh, like anyone else. But what I would say to them is take advantage, go with us. Uh, we work closely with Wandsworth Council. This is a good application. It was badly treated by Boris Johnson. He himself has gone on the record of saying he may have made the wrong decision. This decision by Sadiq Khan writes that wrong. Now, one thing that has been uh, floated in all of this is the sheer amount of non-affordable housing. Obviously, the mayor has a quota that he's set himself of 50% of affordable housing. What level of affordable housing will the flats be in this whole uh, development? Well, the viability shows us at this moment in time around 10%, but uh, it can go up as the building takes root and as values come in for the developer. So we can see that going up. The key point is, in addition to the housing and that element of affordable housing that could and can go up and hopefully will go up. It's just the renovation of the whole area. As you've seen here, it is pretty bad, pretty drab, and it needs a big boost. Well, the mayor's office weighed into this debate and the uh, future of the consultation with this following statement. Uh, Sadiq Khan has asked to be able to consider reversing the previous mayor's decision to call in the Wimbledon application and instead hand it back to Merton Council to determine. The mayor's request is now being formally consulted on and he looks forward to hearing from all interested parties he can make the best decision for London. Uh, in response to this, AFC Wimbledon are uh, necessarily delighted. Uh, they said, uh, sent the following quote, We are delighted that the Mayor of London has announced the next steps in the process. We ask our fans to be patient in our quest to return the club to its spiritual home. Well, this his story isn't going away. Of course, Sidi Khan has only opened the consultation again instead of just shelving the project. Uh, Merton officials and, of course, AFC Wimbledon fans, I'm sure, will be very uh, hopeful that the 
uh, planning application will be returned to Merton Council. But Sadiq Khan could see some information in the consultation in the 14 days to come, which change his mind. So we'll just have to wait and see what the outcome is for Wimbledon Stadium.